Little Dragon's Cafe has been on my radar for a long time. Raising a dragon at the same time you're trying to manage a cafe, that concept alone got me excited. So now that I've got my hands on it, how is it living up to my expectations so far? Alright, I have to mention this at the beginning because you are probably going to notice it in the video. You might be sitting here watching the footage and thinking, why is the frame rate so bad? Well, it actually isn't. On my PS4 Pro, this runs at an almost rock solid 60 FPS all the time. There is a little more object pop in in the distance than I'd expect, but the frame rate is solid. The problem is in the way that they chose to animate the character. During the running animation, there is a single frame at the start of each step where the character's legs and body are doing the motion to continue moving forward, but the actual character model is static for that single frame, which means the camera doesn't move either. This makes the frame rate appear somewhat choppy, even though there aren't any dropped frames. The art style along with the animations in game are going for this sort of wooden doll, puppet, not a real boy-esque aesthetic, so I'm pretty sure that the way they animated the character movement was intentional. They just did it before really putting it into practice to see what it looked like. This is something that could and should be looked at for a probable day one patch, so I didn't want to linger too long on it. I'll be passing on my thoughts on this to Axies and hopefully it'll be fixed by launch day. Taking a step back, I'd like to segue back into how the game looks, and in a word, it's phenomenal. Little Dragon's Cafe has so much charm. Everything from the characters themselves to the various monsters look adorable. This style runs throughout the entire game and really ties everything together. The world feels cohesive. Of course, the other thing that looks adorable is your little pet dragon. You even get to name it, and finding the right name for my little dragon took a little longer than I anticipated. I wonder if you guys can guess where all of these dragon references are from. I thought I had the perfect name, but it didn't fit. I am equally happy with the name I chose in the end though. You also get to name the twins at the start of the game, and you can pick to play as either the girl or the boy, and the one you don't choose will just help out in the cafe. You can't customise your character, but your dragon can change colour depending on what you feed it. But let's talk more about what you actually do in the game. You'll spend your days scouring the world for ingredients and recipe fragments, and while recipes can be scattered pretty much anywhere in the world, ingredients can be in trees, on the ground, hiding inside little hidey holes that can be pillaged by your dragon, you can fish or charge at birds, and there are some other ways to gather different ingredients later on in the game as well. Inside the cafe, you'll use these ingredients and new recipes to serve customers and build up your cafe's reputation to move the story along. And this is the part that actually surprised me. This is quite the story-driven game. In the opening stages, you'll accrue a ragtag group of employees to run the cafe, each through their own story arc. And the way the game moves along in the later stages appears to be through individual customer story arcs as well as the overarching main story itself. There are a lot of different elements here, many I haven't talked about, like the music rhythm minigame you play to cook a meal, but the game never feels disjointed. Well, not yet anyway. I think this is where I'll leave it for now, this is only my first impressions after all. Plus, I just really want to go back and play more. Little Dragon's Cafe is really rather addictive, in the same way I usually put my life on hold for a week when a new Animal Crossing comes out. A few niggles here and there performance wise, but I hope these will be resolved in a day one patch. Hell, even without any fixes, this is still chock full of charm and a whole lot of fun. I'll have a straight gameplay video to accompany this one up soon, and my full review will be out in about a week. Little Dragon's Cafe launches on the PS4 and Switch on the 24th of August in North America, but fans in Europe and seemingly the rest of the world will need to wait until September 21st. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and I'll see you all soon.